Lady Lilith. I'm all by myself today. Reverend Sonny D has had to uh, go out of town and uh, visit with some friends this week. So, not to let you down, I'm trying to hold down the fort all by myself. Bullshit! Well, almost by myself. <laughs> yeah, don't forget the cameraman. <laughs> don't forget the cameraman. Yes, uh, Reverend Sonny D is helping some people in New Jersey. Isn't that right? Yeah, in New Jersey. And so I wanted to bring you up to date with the goings-on in the local pagan community. I was lucky enough to be invited to an oracular safe working with the local Ossetru Kindred. And there we met up with uh, the beautiful, lovely Christine, who was doing the music for the ritual on her cantile. Uh And, of course, I just grabbed the opportunity to get her on film to show you what just one more pagan person is doing in the community. So hang on and let me present to you the beautiful Christine. My name is Christine Montele, which is a traditional instrument from Finland. And the origins of the Kantele, it was said that the shaman Vainamoinen, who was in the Kalevala, fashioned the Kantele out of the jaw of a pike. Traditionally, it was used for um, the retelling of the Kalevala, the chanting of spells and charms. And so it's very much magical in nature, but of course, you can play just for music. There's various types of kantele. This is the five string, and they also have ten string, anywhere up to 32. I think there may be 36, and so on. So many of those more than five strings fashion to make the sound of the countries surrounding Finland, whereas the five string is the unique Finnish sound. 